Well, we just got some great insight, as always, from former Falcon Harry Douglas in the film room. But what you may not know is that Harry is very close with new head coach Arthur Smith after they spent time together with the Tennessee Titans or organization. Who better to help us get a glimpse into the man, the myth, the legend that is Arthur Smith than his old friend, Harry. Welcome to Atlanta, my man. You're finally here in Atlanta, Georgia, a city that you know I'm from and talked about so much when we was together in Tennessee. How does it feel, man? Yeah, it's still kind of surreal. I've loved being here, home of Harry Douglas, and uh, it's been a great fit, great transition so far. Now, this is what I really want to ask you. Since being in Atlanta, what is the most exciting thing you've experienced outside of football? Well, I really haven't done much, but my job, you know, I've gone back to Nashville a few times to see the family and then gone to a few good restaurants. So I guess you could say the restaurants and then I did catch a Hawks game, which was, which was good. The Hawks are rolling right now and that was pretty fun. So what, what is on the menu of Arthur Smith? What do you like to eat when you go to a nice restaurant? That's what I want to know. Well, as you can see, I'm an old, old lineman, so I'm not really picky. So, I, you know, good steakhouse usually does the trick. Again, I'm not too picky, not too picky about the sides. Good wine, good steak, I'm good to go. That's what I'm talking about. See, the old linemen, they always at heart. It don't matter how much weight y'all lose. Y'all gonna y'all never lose your appetite. No. Now, 2021 NFL Draft, this is draft week. Um, it's not only important to the Falcons organization, but it's important for you because it's your first draft as a head coach. How has that process been so far? It's been great. You know, I can't say enough good things about Terry Fontenot and the collaboration we've had with the coaching and scouting staff, which is what we wanted. It was the job we were hired to do here. And so we tried to, we've implemented that. It's been, there's been some really good discussions. Uh, and we really enjoyed the process. It's good, you know, it, it, it takes you back. You know, I was happy I got to spend a couple years on defense. You go back into the defensive meetings and you're going through the whole process. And we're excited, you know, whoever we bring in here on Thursday night, and it's not just that first pick, it's all the picks and the post-draft pick. I mean, we're trying to set a certain culture here and all those picks matter. And a lot of attention will go to that fourth pick. But the rest of those picks, as you know, are just as important. That's the heart of your roster. And there's some great players that'll, that'll show up out of that bunch. Now, Wednesday, the night before the draft, draft eve, are you going to be able to sleep? Yeah, I'll be able to sleep. <laughs> I, I, I feel pretty good if it's the same way I feel the night before the game. And that's not to say that, you know, you, you want that feeling of good energy, anxiousness, nervousness. But I sleep I sleep fine the night before the game. I know we're prepared. And, and just because the clock's running the same way that play clock's going, like, I feel prepared. And, and I really have enjoyed our process. Okay, we got some fun stuff. We wanna, I want to have a little fun with All right, Arthur Smith let's go. now. Are you an iPhone or Android guy? iPhone. Okay. Favorite pet? We have a dog. So. What's your dog's name? Shelby. Does Shelby love you more or Allison more? Allison. That was her <laughs> dog. She I inherited that dog through marriage. Toughest part about being a head coach so far? I wouldn't say tough. It's just there's a lot of uh, a lot of people pulling on your time throughout the day, and so you've got to really do a good job of managing your time and making sure that you give time for everybody, but to know that you can still be productive, learning when to delegate, and when you need to take something on yourself. Last one I have for you, and, and it would be very rude of me if I didn't even bring this up, but your wife, Allison. Um, a lot of people don't understand what all endures in becoming a head coach, being a head coach, a coaching period, right? Your wife has made the ultimate sacrifice so you can be great for your family, so your family can be great. What, you, what would you like to say to her right now? Well, first off, I'd ask, did, did she write that question? <laughs> did, did, where did that question come from? No, but Allison's... She's been a rock to this whole thing. You know, you really can't do this. If, if, if you're married and you want to have a family, you, you've got to have a great wife that's very supporting. And she was actually in the, in the news industry. So she gets it. She understands. She worked long hours. She understands the, the commitment that it takes from my end. But yeah, we wouldn't be able to, she is, she is my rock and we wouldn't be able to survive as a family if it wasn't for her. But I'm pretty sure she may have written, written that question. It's not above her to do that, <laughs> but I love her. <laughs> so. Said, well, you laugh, maybe, maybe she did. <laughs> <We could. laughs>